And that breaking news, a major blow tonight to Governor Pence and pro-life Hoosiers and a victory for pro-choice groups and Planned Parenthood. A judge has blocked Indiana's new abortion law from going into effect tomorrow. RTV6 Jason Fechner joining us live downtown with all the latest details. Good evening, everyone. That new law set to go into effect at midnight tonight would have put new restrictions on abortions all across the state of Indiana. Women would no longer have been able to have them based on a fetus's race, sex, ancestry, or genetic abnormality as well. But tonight, federal judge Tanya Walton Pratt has stepped in, siding with Planned Parenthood and the ACLU to bar that new law from going into effect. The court issued a preliminary injunction late today. Judge Walton Pratt saying that allowing the law to go into effect right now would have required that the court recognize exemptions, which the court is not permitted to do under federal law and the Constitution. A short time ago, Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky and the ACLU legal director Ken Falk addressed the media about what they are calling a victory for women. They say they were confident about the ruling. We're not a litigious bunch and we don't file frivolous lawsuits. So if we head to court, it's because we believe that uh, it's the right thing to do, certainly, but we believe that we will prevail. If the case goes forward, we will argue, uh, continue our arguments. But I, I do want to stress that what the state of Indiana has attempted to do here is really uh, grossly flies in the face of existing law. And back here live on the South Lawn of the Capitol building, a big pro-choice rally set here to begin at 6 p.m. tonight. A lot of different groups are expected out here, including a lot of the women behind the periods for Pence movement that kicked up in the wake of Governor Pence signing this bill into law. Much more to come throughout the course of the rest of the evening. Reporting live downtown this evening, Jason Fechner, RTV6. Jason, thank you. Continuing our coverage now, let's bring in Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez. He has been monitoring reaction coming in. Rafael. Melissa, good afternoon. Governor Pence is calling the ruling disappointing. His press secretary, Kara Brooks, released this statement saying that Governor Pence remains steadfast in his support for the unborn, especially those with disabilities. The governor will continue to stand for the sanctity of human life in all stages. His opponent, Democratic gubernatorial candidate John Gregg, tweeted this message. In his own words, House Enrolled Act 1337 was always more about Mike Pence's ideology than science, medicine, or common sense. And just a few minutes ago, I talked to the leader of the pro-life group Indiana Right to Life. Well, we're very disappointed. The two things that have come out of today's decision uh, is that the civil rights of unborn children have been denied by this judge. And the second uh, thing that's happened from this is that aborted children in Indiana will continue to be discarded as common medical waste because she's blocked this law. We are losing confidence in the judiciary uh, in making strong constitutional decisions. Instead, we see them drifting towards making politically motivated decisions. A right to Life expects that the state will appeal this case, adding that today was, in their word, a speed bump in their legal fight. Live in the newsroom, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.